Welcome to War Thunder, a quick overview of War Thunder. Uh, recently got released on PS4 along with uh, 1.41 with uh, adds tanks and a bunch of... Weird. PS4... Weird. PS4, uh, a uh, quick overview, and I'll put a link in the description for that. But that that game's pretty pretty good. Does support mouse and keyboard, but here's the PC version. Uh, to make sure there's a PC version, there's a mouse. I don't. I think there's crossplay. I'm not 100% sure. But this video will be looking at um, you know air battles. I'll do another video uh, down the line. With tank battles, I did a video when I did, last time I did my video. It was kind of a cluster fuck. Um, shit wasn't work. Rolled my tank in the first few seconds. First few seconds. So let's uh, we'll do a, a little battle here. Uh, you know, it's War Thunder, a uh, war time, uh, World War Two to Korea, uh, World War One to Korea flight simulator. All sorts of different stuff. Um, it's not just single player or multiplayer. It also features a pretty extensive single player campaign with tons of um, missions, uh, realistic battles, and all that stuff. It's it's pretty cool. I'm actually really impressed how they're doing that. So, War Thunder and World of World, World of War World of Tanks, which War World of Tanks. Which is an arcadey tank game. I'm not a fan of that game, actually. I find it... Their hand, how they handle a lot of the stuff is really stupid. Um, you know, how they handle vision. There's a there's actually a chance where you should be able to visually see them, but because how the game handles uh, radius, you can't see your team even though you're... You should be able to see them. Um, you, they just go out of sight. And how artillery is kind of unbalanced in that game. Then, I think I think it was planes is what Gaijin. I think this Gaijin Entertainment. I think this Gaijin Entertainment. Uh, Gaijin Games is now changing to something else. Who does the bit trip on her? Gaijin Entertainment made Warplanes. Then, uh, people that made World of War tanks wanted to make World of Warplanes. World of and they were like, hey, uh, you guys got to change your number and change the name. And they, then they changed the War Thunder. Because they also have vision of uh, battles with tanks, ships, and uh, planes. And one server. That's where you get the MMO. Slowly make my That finally releases last year. Kind of boring. It wasn't fun. It was kind of boring. It wasn't fun. It was stupid. Not a lot of people play it. It's... It, it, it plays like this, but it's... They're aiming directly for Arcady. This is simulation at its finest. You know? Support. Oh, so much shit. Um, I don't want to actually do this because I have a really good uh, setup, but... It's... You can really... Uh, you could really do a lot of... I see, like, there's simulation... Okay, similar... Simulator Battles is a mode similar to realistic in locations and in ways how players have divided into two aspects. There are no markers and third-person view. Only realistic controls are available and third-person view. Only realistic controls are available and normal length of missions is different as well. So it's it tries to do that. The game is pretty realistic, even in arcade mode. Because we all... One of the main things... I just saw the video on uh, Reddit... Is there's you never see any modern takes on this. You never see like an F-16 versus a MiG, because that's never really happened yet. In World War Two in Korea, up to the World War One up to Korea, we kind of had major sense of um, combat. Even up to got of Vietnam with um, with the MiGs and the A, um, and the F-4, yeah. So the, that's the real first modern um, F-4, yeah. So the, that's the real first modern. Um, sh uh, Playing to actually engage, you know. There's been some fighting over a rock and during the Persian Gulf, but not much. Oh, hello. 
But let's get started after that five minute tutorial or five minute r r thing. Okay, free to play. And with uh, not pay to win, you're not paying, you're paying to progress. So you can research. Uh, where, where are we at? Where are we at? Ah, here we go. You can research uh, planes and a lot of stuff. Right now, they only have a few. Right now, they only have a few. I think Russian and German. But I like the Russian planes because they're pretty OP. But yeah, it's, it's, um, you know, you, you could spend, uh, golden eagles, which are the premium you get for money. You also get them from doing some tutorial stuff. And you could get some of these planes that are, uh, you know, I think this is a, I think you also get like bonus rewards. You, it's progressed faster and I think everything is unlocked. Enough of that. You're given a hangar and you can, well, um. Okay, we're gonna get put into rank three. Actually, no. Um. Okay, we're gonna get put into rank three. Actually, no. Cancel. Wait, I don't want to get put in rank three now. I like rank two. It's a good mix. I'm not that good, but rank rank three is a little bit harder. You gotta start using bombs and shit on targets. And what of warplanes? And world of tanks. You pick up tank or plane, and then you go into that battle. Um. Actually, I'm gonna change the settings here. Battle. Um, 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 uh. And then once that plays, I can go back and you know pick another plane. Go back and you know pick another plane. So here we go. Um, actually, I want uh that that that. Okay. Okay. So I'm using a mouse and keyboard. I can use a controller, but I don't like it. It gives me a nice fluid thing. Sadly, I'm a... Re I, the way I use the mouse and keyboard is... Uh, this is... I don't invert. It's weird. So I got a bomber here. Bomber here. Where are the... So I can zoom in, you know, if, if you see my uh, PS3 for version, very similar, like really similar, except for controls. So I'm using uh, AD f to keep my, uh... oh wow, somebody crashed. Yeah, I got fucked. Yeah, I'm getting out class here. Uh, let's pick up this guy. It's, it's a battle. So you can set the skins, where you take off, what's your payload, which is real nice. Music's really good. The game looks really got nice. It's, I mean, it's not a pixel pusher like say um, a first person shooter is now, or, but it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's it's fun little game. I feel like it's better than World of Warplanes. I think they're doing what they're doing right now is really cool. I really want to see where they do with uh, ships or uh, not ships, but. Uh, yeah, ships. I would like to see that. You know, who are, their main objective is kill all the pilots and or um, finish the objectives which are on the bottom left. We gotta kill 23 tanks. So we got bombers that do that and, uh, and we gotta protect our bombers. You can set your, uh, which is real nice, you can set where your guns are. Uh, mine are at... Jesus, I can't even keep up with these people. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, 
Oh my god, I got fucked! Holy shit, man! This is some hard for heavy duty shit! But look at that! I can still shoot! That's cool! Man, that guy fucking raped me. Here we go, got another bomber. So right there, that's my bombing ridicule. Um, throttle, uh, initial airspeed, bombs, and fuel. So you can even set how much fuel you have. That's how many bombs. Bombs and ammo. And the arcade are automatically refilled, which is real nice. And realistic and all that stuff, you have to... I I'm pretty sure you have to go back to the airship. So let's, uh... That. Yeah, cool. Got a bunch of research and points. There's all sorts of different different loadouts you can do. Um, wide variety of modifications you can do. Uh, let's see where I'm at. Eh, I'm gonna do it. Okay. So we get the map here. It, it just the game looks better. It doesn't the World of Warplanes look kind of look more cartoony uh, than anything else. Damn it! I totally missed that. It's supposed to be a key to turn my. No, no, no! Oh, there it is. Where is it? That's that, okay. Hmm. Damn it, so bad. So there's even full keyboard, like I'm um, Q and E is my yaw, uh, A and D is my uh, roll. Look at that water. That's gorgeous water. Oh, yeah. It's C. So, they could... Uh, those automatically shoot. Which is right. But I can take the control of that. Uh, how do I do that? What? Nope, no, that's not it. Crap. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, got an assist. Let's see here. Where is the bomb? God damn it, come on. I can do this. I can do this. They're over here, yeah? Think we're winning? Jesus Christ, I, I haven't played this in just a long, long time. Like, look at that! Dude. That's a fucking crazy ass shit going on behind me! Shoot the fuckers! There we go. Nice! Oh god! Got smoked! So you can actually even shoot at the pilot too, which is real crazy. So I, I can adjust bombs, what I can put in here. Six, you know, four 100s, six, uh, six 100s, or two uh, 250s. Uh, I can even put flaps. Gear. Air brake.
you're not in a squad. Oh. Just pressing all the buttons. Got him. Nice. Smoking ain't easy. No, I'm still alive. I think that's what counts. I'm helping out the cause here. In World of Warplanes, you just take out objectives or t and take out all the planes. It's not as fun, but this is cool. Taking out tanks and all that stuff. So in earlier t ranks or tiers, you uh, you you get armored vehicles that could just be shredded by by stuff. So you, you're more you're gonna need more of the uh, firepower of a bo nice bomb. Damn it! You can get rockets too, so that that's a thing. Wait, are those? Okay, I can get these. Nice. Our base is destroyed, but we can still win the day. So you can destroy the base, which uh, I don't think it means you can't get res you don't get respawns or something. So this is War Thunder, a oh, Gaijin Entertainment. Yeah, Gaijin Entertainment. Um, out now on PC. So they they changed from research to experience. So you use experience research to upgrade stuff. I, I I don't get it. I think the other way was better, but they probably they know what they're doing. A lot of people feel like they're what they've been doing is pretty good. Let's see here uh, modifications. Um, actually, let's, let's change the vehicle here. Um, let's go to this guy. Uh, yeah. There we go. And modifications. So I can purchase that or, uh, yeah, I think. I don't know. Processing modification started. Okay. So, yeah, okay. So I'll put that in research, I think. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I should probably do the tutorial. But whatever. Whatever. And I'm going to repraise and, you know, ammo costs a little bit, but it's not that much. You make enough, you know, playing a game. But uh, thanks for watching. This is a quick overview of War Thunder PC for PC 1.41. But uh, thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe.